Everybody, how are you? I just want to do a quick, oh, let's just clean the camera off. A quick end of uh, work update. I wait for a few people to join in. I explain what's going on at the moment. Right, while I'm waiting for people to join in, I'm just going to carry on doing my, uh, my paperwork there. I have still not done yet. So I'll just wait for a few people to join in though. Uh, one person watching so far, we'll wait for a few people to join in here. Hi Duncan, hi Michelle, hi Nigel. We got we got a mod, good. Always look glad to see we got a mod here. Hi Claire, hi Luke. Good evening, Lee. Hi Fiona. Shout out for Jumbo Sausage. Hello Jumbo Sausage. Hi Claire. Well, two mods. Crap girls are rock. Crap girls are rubbish. We all know that. Oh, it was extremely busy today. It was a lot busier than I was expecting. My feet are killing me. I've just got back in. Uh, I'll read you in a second, guys. Uh, what was I doing? I'm just doing my paperwork at the moment. Okay, I think that's right. Right, where have I got to? Uh, oh, 349 followers, adventures. Right, 33 people watching, how are you? When are you getting your new teeth? Tomorrow. Right, the plan was tonight, we were uh, we were going to be doing the letters at, uh, 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 after work. But unfortunately, I got waylaid and I had to go and pick the wife up. And then I, I couldn't go back because uh, I've got to be up really, really, really early in the morning because I've got an appointment at half past nine in the morning to get my teeth to put my teeth in, but before I go and put, have my teeth drilled at the dentist, I'm going to have to go to the warehouse at like half past seven in the morning. So it's going to be an early night for me tonight because I'm absolutely exhausted. I literally ran out of everything today. I ended up having to, uh, hi Michelle, how are you? Uh, hi Lee Harvey. Uh, I ended up having to borrow some hot dogs off peak and I ran out of hot dogs. Uh, I nearly ran out of burger bowls, so, if I, so I'm going to have to go really early in the morning so they're all defrosted in time for when I open. So I'll be at the warehouse at like half past seven in the morning, at uh, eight o'clock, something like that. All right, Alex. So this is going to be a quick hello. Uh, the green vinyl on the wall. What record, please? Oh, that one. That's a Elvis record. Yeah, I'll show you. There's another couple of Elvis ones there. Like normal, uh, these records are ones that I actually bought from second-hand shops in America. These ones, I actually I bought all of these from uh, Memphis, second-hand shops in America, in, uh, in Memphis. I noticed your queue was long at 3.30 p.m., so, so I went to Pete. For food instead, yeah. The, the queue was quite long. The queue, to be fair, I had a six, I had a six and a half hour queue today. Uh, so it was quite busy today. It's been a busy weekend, but it was busier today than I expected. I wasn't expecting it to be quite as busy today. But the the, uh, the sun was out, which really helps. A great man's cave, Chris. Thank you very much. You like me, man cave? Hi Lee, See, I didn't even know you were down Lee. 
Well, didn't know Elvis did double boy, no thanks. Uh, very busy, Chris. Yeah, it, it'd been very busy today, to be fair. So as I said, we were going to do the letters tonight, uh, uh, but I just I ended up having to go and pick the wife up from somewhere, and then back time. Now I'm now I'm back. I was too tired to go back out. Have watched Walk the Line. It's a great film. No, I've not watched that. I have to watch that. Hi, Chris from Jenny and Nigel Burton on Trent. Hello, Burton on Trent. Jenny, hello, Chris from Leyland. Hello, Leyland, how are you? Hello, uh, be round in the morning. See, see you, Chris. Okay, see you. Uh, I'll probably turn up probably at half past 11, Lee, because after that, the queue, the queue started at 12 o'clock today, and it, uh, it's been, when it fin I, I finished the queue at six o'clock when I pulled the shutters down, because I, I was literally nearly out of stuff. Uh, we'll be in Blackpool on the 29th. Okay, see Sarah's here on the 29th. Hi, Karen. I know Karen's here at the moment. I've seen Karen today. Uh, and yesterday, actually. Uh, did you say hello back if I didn't? I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hello, Lee. Uh, Lee, it was uh, on the chat when we were at Pete's Bingo. Okay. Okay, I, I'm assuming Pete did a live on Bingo today. I, I just haven't done it any... Uh, have I done a live today? I can't remember if I've done a live today. So, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that uh, I get chance to tie up with Pete tomorrow and to do the, uh, the crap letters tomorrow because we got so much stuff. Uh, yeah, you've just missed me out too. They don't worry. Okay. Hi, Chris. Don't forget your appointment tomorrow. Yes, I know the appointment tomorrow is half past nine in the morning. That's why I've got to get up early because I've got to go stock shopping first uh, before I go there. Be in Blackpool the 3rd of May with presents for the crap girls and boys. Oh, don't worry about the crap girls. You don't need any presents for them. Uh, Oh, we all notice you purple hair, Ellie. Great to see you, Chris. Back home now. Uh, good journey. Karen, oh, you're back now. Oh, yeah, you did tell me. I saw you this morning. No, look forward to seeing you again in July. Okay, see you again in July. That was Karen from Dudley. Dudley, have you all right, have you? Yeah, I've seen her over the past couple of days. Really nice lady to talk to. But she's from the proper part of the country, isn't she? From, she's from the Midlands where we're all educated. Not like these soft northerners. Enjoyed seeing Ian's new shop uh, layout and the new stock. Love that shop. It's a great little shop, isn't it? That's the shop uh, which Claire's talking about, the one on Foxhall Road. If you can check out some of our previous videos, I've done a couple of He's done a new layout, but it's really cheap magnets and uh, typical Blackpool stuff, but it's really cheap. Loads of stuff for a pound. I don't know how he does it so cheap. Chris, I will see you on the 10th of May. See you on the 10th of May. Don't forget, guys, not, not telling you, but don't forget, my birthday is the 29th of May. Just reminding everybody my birthday. Just, uh, and I'll be 56, I think. What year is it this year? Yeah, I'll be 56, I think. I must be 55 now. So where the dress quiz, or is it just for Scotland? Oh, if you saw that last video I did, uh, that was just me having a rant this morning because I'd... Uh, I'd seen, uh, I'd been watching the news before I went out this morning and they were going on about some law they put in place in Scotland where if you, if you, if somebody, if some bloke puts a dress and a wig on and identifies as a woman, you can't call him a bloke because apparently it's hate speech or, or hate or something like that. You know what I mean? I'm sorry, if a bloke puts a dress on, he's still a bloke. He's just a bloke in a dress. He's a bloke trying to seek attention. <laughs> You don't look 56, thank you very much. Yep, I will be 56, look at that. Look. Young Chris, old Chris, young Chris, old Chris. Uh, happy birthday, Claire. Is it your birthday, Claire? I should really keep on top of what's going on, shouldn't I? First I thought you were going to wear glasses today. 
we're addressed today. <laughs> no, no, I was, it, that was just, I, I didn't mean to start ranting about that, but it was just, it, I just, I just find it ridiculous. This, this political correctness has gone stupid. And why do the SNP want to do this? It's already cost them one leader. Uh, no, it's on the 25th of April. Oh, okay then, so it's your birthday in a couple of weeks' time. So we've got 64 people watching. Hello, 64 people watching. So I, I saw Rob the Dog today. Now, unfortunately, Rob the Dog was expecting me to do the letters today. Now, unfortunately, I didn't get round to it, as I, as I said. And I was in a bit of a rush because I had to go and pick Becky up and then I had to go and pick my wife up. Uh, and I was in a bit of a rush. Uh, so I do apologise for not getting the letters done today because Lindsay, for some reason, had decided to put an audience there, which I didn't know about. Uh, and unfortunately, I had to let them down, which was terrible, but unfortunately, I had other things going on. You're welcome, Lee. I am going to Blackpool on the 10th of May. Will you be there? Chris, will the first thing you eat with your teeth, roast potatoes, yeah. Yeah. I don't know, because I, I don't... I, I don't, I'm not, I'm, the dentist is going to have to explain to me what I can eat, what I can't eat, how do I glue them in, do they hold in themselves, I don't know anything about it, so uh, I'm sure I could find a YouTube uh, video to tell me. Uh, if it's after 11, okay, I wonder what that's all about. So, and me and Peter are talking about trying to get a... Uh, a, a food review done this week as well. It, it may be difficult, I'm not sure, because this week has ended up a lot busier than I was expecting. I was expecting this to quiet down. Uh, apparently Fleetwood Weatherspoon is shutting down. I've never been there. Uh, I wasn't expecting to be uh, as busy this week. Uh, so I thought we'd have a little bit more time, but it, it's been very busy. So I shut at six and I didn't get away till... Uh, like quarter to eight, just cleaning. Hi, Steve, how are you? You don't need a lot of a fixer dent, just pinhead dots. Don't use it, what the instructions uh, say. Okay, I'll have a word look at that. Sarah, what's a piece of a triple? Chris, when you get your new teeth, you can put a nice dress on. <laughs> So guys, if you're not see, if you don't know what he's on about, the video I put up today, this morning, I didn't even, I just instant premiered it because I was really busy, so I just banged it on, uh, and it was about me just ranting. Where was I going? I was going somewhere anyway. I was trying to get to the bank. Oh, that was a bloody half an hour in the bloody bank as well, and I was right, like normal. I'm the Royal Bank of Scotland, yeah, and there's not a Royal Bank of Scotland in Blackpool anymore, so I had to go to that west. And there's always some spotty little kid in there asking what you want you doing in there. I'm putting money in the bank. What do you think I'm doing in there? Some spotty little 17 year old wanting to know what's going on. Can we do a live? Uh, can do a live, but can't do letters. Yeah, Rob, I'm just explain that. I did have to go out. And I'm just actually doing the live now to explain why I didn't do the letters night and to apologise because I say I ended up having to disappear pretty quickly because I had to pick the wife up at half past. And unfortunately, Rob, if you missed the start of this uh, video, uh, I've got to have my teeth done at half past nine in the morning. But before that, I'm going to have to go to the warehouse. So I need to be up at like seven, half past seven in the morning to... Uh, do it and the letters are going to take me at least an hour and a half to do because there's so many of them you only saw a few uh high travel with task uh, you only saw a few uh ones that was a pete's i have got loads and loads of them at uh at my place i mean the, the, the letter boxes full the donations in there i've got a box full of stuff and it's going to take me at least an hour and a half maybe two hours to do it uh, so I didn't fancy being there till 10 o'clock tonight when I've got to uh, do that. But I'm hoping, no promises, but I'm hoping, will you be about tomorrow, Rob the Dog? And I'm hoping I might be able to get to do them tomorrow. 
so if you're about tomorrow, I don't know how, where, how long you're down here for. You did tell me, but I can't remember. Uh, tie up with me tomorrow. I should be all right tomorrow. Yeah, check out Travel with Taz. It's got a great channel out there. So tie up with me tomorrow anyway, Rob the Dog, and uh, I'll, I'll tell you what, the, because I, I don't think I've got, I didn't have anything planned today until the wife phoned me up and told me she was looking after my granddaughter and I had to go and pick her up after work. Turkey teeth. Oh, God. Uh, hi, Chris. Uh, can you uh, swap some fruit machines, please? Coming up soon to play in your hockey. I don't do swaps on fruit machines. I, all I do is, at the, during the winter, I do all the fruit machine changes, yeah? And then during the season, I only have time to actually focus on what I'm doing. And if I do any swaps on fruit machines, they're all done during the winter. Now is work time, I'm afraid. So I don't have time. I barely have time. Like, I, uh, once I've finished the, the, the arcade tonight, I shut the arcade down, I had a... Uh, the McMaster and Stephen have been using your food review table. Near, have they? The cheek of it. I can't believe they've been using the crap table. I'm going to have to have a word with Lee and Stephen. Uh, yeah, I, I end up having to uh, unclog some machines tonight because uh, I had some coin damage jams and stuff like that. So I don't really have time to swap machines. It's just time just to maintain them. Uh, okay, wave at me. I'll be live on the uh, chat link. Okay, uh, I'm uh, waiting to make loads from my channel. Uh, can get some perfect teeth. <laughs> Chris, have you got your teeth? Uh, I have bid for them. No, I haven't. I haven't. They were left at the dentist. Did my teeth were left at the dentist. Yep. Uh, same with Beth Steve walking the wild side. Good bloke, Steve is actually. Which is my favourite decade? Seventies, uh, I would say. Seventies. Great music, terrible fashion, absolutely awful fashion, but great music. But the seventies was just a spin-off of the sixties anyway. A lot of the lyrics were the same. Yeah, it looked like uh, the crap the Backmaster and Walk on the Wild Side have been copying me and Pete. But you say me and Pete, uh, don't forget, me and Pete have uh, arcades to run, so we, we can only do food reviews, work, going around, working at the arcade, because that's our job. That's what we do, remember. Where Steve and the Backmaster, that's what they do for a living, so they can plan it and all that mean. Me and Pete have to work around what's going on in the arcades. Chris, your daughter Becky is lovely, very friendly and helpful, just like me. I'm friendly and helpful. <laughs> she doesn't think so, but I am. What happened to your song, Chris? Uh, it's not been it's not been finished yet. Uh, I, I spoke to Anthony a couple of days ago, and Anthony's been tied up. He's doing a. Uh, He's doing a gig at the moment at that new uh, museum. So once he's done that, uh, he'll be doing our uh, our extended version of our song. And we don't need it yet until Pete's put the pound donut stall in anyway, because I can't really play it until he's got the pound donut stall in. Yeah, please check out Claire Ashes Adventures by Mobility if you like songs. Right, anybody else talking to me? Anyway, Rob the Dog, are you still there? Will you be about tomorrow, Rob the Dog? Have you put your solar rocket Elvis up at your burger bar? Uh, no, it's still in the back, actually. It's still in the back. I've got Donald Trump in the burger bar. Which colour slush do you get through the most per year? Blue. Blue's definitely the one I go through the most. I only do blue and red. Other people do lots of different colours. I just do a bled, red, blue and red to me. So I, when I'm in full operation, I have two blue running and one red running. 
Uh, actually, the mobility scooter, I'm glad you reminded me. I forgot all about that. I'll have to go off and see the guys. Have you had have another TV company come uh, apart from your days and Blackpool Lights? Yes, yes, I've done a few. I've done uh, British Treasure American Gold with Jesse McClure, who uh, I did something with him. So, uh, oh, that was on one of these free view channel the car that UK got one of the free view channels I did that we did uh Johnny Marr a music video in there uh I've obviously done a, a GB news I've done a few radio interviews uh I've done quite quite a bit of stuff to be fair if you actually go out if you go and check on my I've got a post on which one is it? It's on the, the Arcade Facebook page. That's the Las Vegas Amusement Arcade Facebook page. There's actually a filmography on there. I'm not sure if it's up to date at the moment, but there's a lot of stuff on there. Because it's been, been, there have been a lot of TV channels and stuff like that throughout the years in Blackpool. Uh, my kids had a great time in Blackpool last summer. Were super nice. Pop in for a game of pool and a quick snack. Nice to meet uh, nice for my wallet too excellent value thank you very much said so you please uh, Chris you were busy on, you still have your gift uh, with the, to post it okay I still have your gift will post it okay then for those of you who just joined us, 83 people, so a few people weren't on here from the beginning. As I said, we were meant to be doing the crap letters tonight on the Crap Boys uh, uh, channel. But unfortunately, circumstances changed and I had to opt out of it because I had to go and pick the wife up. And I didn't really want to go back because I've got to be up early in the morning to go and do a load of stock shopping before having my teeth done. Oh, the house hunting, don't. We, we, we've had a formal offer. We've sold this house now. We've sold it, yeah? But the house that we wanted, uh, we can't have it because somebody else had bought it. Anyway, so I've now got to go and find a house in Blackpool. So I could be homeless. I could be living in a cardboard box shortly because I've sold my house now. And obviously that's about to start. I accepted the formal offer today uh, and then made an offer on the house that I wanted but it had just sold. So I now need to, after I get off here, I need to go on the internet and find myself a house to buy. What's my favourite artist apart from uh, Elvis? I like the specials. Uh, I've seen them live. Absolutely fantastic live. Madness are good as well. I'm, a, I'm into a lot of two-tone and scar. Because I was a bit of a, sco a, uh, a scooter boy when I was younger. Caravan in Peach Garden. That's a good idea, that is. Moving happy days. At least I have free Wi-Fi in there. Uh, get a motorhome. Live the van life. Oh, no, I'm too old for that. Go live in Lizard. Oh, no, that Lizard's too posh for me. <laughs> Move to Central Drive. I don't think so. I'm moving away from the seafront area. I'm, I'm moving inland. I want to move inland a little bit and get a normal house. Uh, do you read, Chris? What's your favourite book? Uh, uh, my favourite... Uh, probably uh, George Orwell. I like the George Orwell stuff, 1984. Or 1986, what year was I? I can't remember. George Orwell stuff, I do like the George Orwell stuff. War of the Worlds, that's good as well. But I do like the George Orwell stuff. Uh, the flats above the arcade are currently occupied. Uh, yes, bro, get in the Metropole for a few nights. Uh, even if they were taking normal people in the Metropole, I don't think they would allow me in there, do you? I think my name may be slightly dirt of the Metropole. I think it might be more than slightly dirt. 
come to Warsaw. I've got friends lived in there in Warsaw, Chesney Hay, which is a posh part of Warsaw, if there is a posh part of Warsaw, but it's a bit of a long way. Anyway, I've moved to the Midlands. I'm no, not going back to the Midlands. I'm a Northerner now. I've been up here 20 years, so I'm not going back to the Midlands. Favourite film, Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers, absolute classic. Or uh, Quarren Tar Tar Tarantino, uh, what's it, Pulp Fiction. But you have to watch that about four, about four times. Try Poulton. I don't really like Poulton, to be fair. It's a bit far away. It's a bit, bit snooty for me, Poulton. Looking forward to an egg bar when I come. Okay, then, no problem. That's lovely legs. Are you getting a house next to Pete? So that actually, I, be, I believe that there was, I don't know if there still is, there was a house up for sale by Pete's, uh, but that was a few months ago because Jackie told me about it. Uh, I feel sorry for some migrants uh, when they are housed in a horrible hotel, okay? The thing is, right, the illegal immigrants shouldn't have come here to start with. I'm sorry, it sounds heartless, yeah, but they, 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 came, they came here and they crossed through perfectly safe countries. So, and the thing is, they know about it as well because they, they, there's loads of publicity in all these other countries saying, don't come to England, you're going to end up in a hotel. Chris, you should move to Staining. I don't know, I don't, I don't know staining. Now, have you not got any spare room, Sandra? <laughs> Claire, caravan gets you started. Swindon? I'm all over the moon Swindon, but I've worked in Swindon, actually, when, the, uh, when they had Honda down in Swindon, when I had a real job, uh, I worked in the, I was a... Uh, a process of quality engineer, and I had to go to the Honda plant down in Swindon uh, once a week. Seemed to be a nice place, Swindon did, to be fair, but I, I didn't really know anything other than the Honda plant. But I don't think it's there anymore. Uh... Yep, yeah, uh, nah, not heartless. Break onto other countries, see how you get on. No, absolutely, absolutely. The thing is, why is it... I don't want to get too political about the, the refugee situation, but why are we struggling in this country? Because the infrastructure can't take it anymore. And when you're getting thousands of people illegally coming across the channel and then not working and then wanting doctor's appointments and wanting houses and then who's suffering? Us, the taxpayers. You try and get a doctor's appointment. Yeah, I, I don't want to get too overly political about it, but you know what my views are, yeah? You know, don't get me wrong. There's, you, there, as a society, we do have a responsibility to look at after genuine asylum seekers yeah but have you ever noticed that the asylum seekers all seem to be working age blokes there don't seem to be many women and children out there so the working age blokes leave the countries and come to our country and then leave the women and children there so why why is it safe for women and children not blokes i'm sorry i don't i don't i don't buy it i don't buy it yeah i really just don't buy that okay okay not to understand Spam, I've never tried it. Yeah, Spam's lovely. Spam, when I was younger, Spam was like the cheap meat. It was for poor people who lived on council estates who couldn't afford beef or pork or anything like that. But Spam's, got, Spam's quite ex uh, expensive now. Moving to funny girls, yeah. Uh, can you tell uh, Betty she needs to ask a question instead of me. Okay. Hi, Stephen. I don't know. Stephen Walk. Oh, hello, Stephen Walk on the wild side. How are you? For those who just, who just noticed, Stephen Walk on the wild side is here, apparently. The daddy of all YouTubers in Blackpool. How are you, Stephen? 
Spab is too salty for me. I like Spab. Yep, Stephen is in the house. Stephen, the daddy of all YouTubers, in in the house. Hey, Steve, look what I've still got on my wall. I'm gonna. This is gonna make me money in years to come. Yeah, I've still got your 2003 calendar. I think I'll get you to autograph it, and I think I'll pull it up for auction. Hey, that's a great idea, guys. What do you reckon if I get Steve to autograph? The uh, Walk of the Wild Side calendar that I've got, and we'll pull it up to auction, and the proceeds can go to Brian House. I think that's a great idea. We'll get Pete to walk, we'll get Steve to autograph it, I'll autograph it, we'll get uh, Pete, uh, not your boy Leroy to autograph it, and uh... Uh, is that the real Steve Walker? Somebody's saying it's not the real Steve. Uh... Uh, do you do veggie burgers? No, nope, sorry, we don't do veggie burgers. Vegetarian, we don't get many vegetarians in uh, in Blackpool. Have you put any of your one pound coins into? Don't know what that's all about. Uh, I do different content, or we'll be doing a walk. To water park adventures, okay. When you're getting yourself an Instagram, I've got an Instagram page. Uh, I don't know what it's called, it's called Chris. I guess, well, I guess so. I have Instagram, I just post photographs on there. I don't really understand Instagram that much. Are your burgers halal? No, my burgers are most definitely not halal. Let's not come and start on the camp, come, there's a halal conversation. You know how much I hate halal. Mr. G, good shout. Who's Mr. G? On in the US, lots of water parks here. Are you in the are you in the US already, Steve? I thought you was a I thought you'd been out with uh, Lee the past few days. Do you have many water parks in the UK? Okay, walk on the wild side. This is obviously a different walk on the wild side. Uh, same here. We'll add you, Chris. Okay. Yeah, I've been to the States lots of times. Lots and lots of times. Chris is a daddy. Thank you very much. No, it's a different guy. Okay, then, so this is a fake walk on the wild side. I guess it will be on plane to America now. Oh, is he gone now, has he? It's not Stephen. Okay, so it's a fake walk on the wild side. Chris, if you uh, like scar music, check out. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to keep up with this. Uh, Jesus, Chris, I took... Uh, you a long time to realise, Chris. Uh, long. Okay, I've just had three new likes on my Instagram pages, so obviously people are checking out my Instagram page now. So yes, guys, I do have Instagram, but it's just photographs. And to be fair, a lot of the photographs are political photographs, so that's why I don't really mention it a lot about when I go out canvassing and do a lot of politics stuff. So. Uh, uh, so a lot of my stuff on the uh, my Instagram is a lot of political photographs with the MPs, with the Prime Minister, and just different uh, political events that I've been to. So a lot of that is when I'm going canvassing and stuff like that. Uh, if you've not checked it out as well, guys, for those of you on Facebook, I do have a... A Facebook page, not my personal one because I never use that one, but I've got the official Christopher Higgins fan page that's got a, just over 2,000 uh, followers. I've had that for quite a while. So if you want to check, for those of you who are on Facebook, as I said, I do have the official Christopher Higgins Facebook uh, fan page. You have to submit a request and then the request come through to me and then I accept the requests. Uh, Best burger in Blackpool, thank you very much. Uh, can you read my last message? Chris, can you read my last message? What was your last message? Uh, let me just try and find where it is. It's not fake. His channel is... 
Walk on the wild side, slide. Oh, walk on the wild slide. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. Okay. Uh, how long have I known Pete? Uh, <coughs> I met Pete probably about 16 years ago. 17 years ago, maybe. I've been in Blackpool 20, and I've been here about three years when I first bought the arcade. And when I first bought the arcade, Pete had transitioned from being the manager of his arcade to being the owner of it. And I met him just at that point. He came over and introduced himself. Uh, so it's about 16 years now. Uh, if you come into Blackpool, your burgers are £1.25. I who I feel. Right, uh, do you have two peas? change we i have loads of two peas i have a bucket full of two peas all the bagged up uh is there much call for water parks and what fixes this guy is obsessed with water parks he's got an obsession with water parks right we've got 101 people watching now hello everybody for those of you who just joined in this was just me explaining that i am going to try and do the letters tomorrow uh, uh, what happened to your badge maker? We still got it. Oh, okay. Talking about merch. Okay, talking about merch. Lindsay today. Well, she should have done. She should have ordered. I spoke to Lindsay today. A a printed machine so we can print our own T-shirts and stuff like that. Uh, Chris gave someone fifty pound in two p. Yeah, that was Rick. <laughs> um, there's not many, in my opinion. Okay. Uh, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah, Lindsay. So, Lindsay, as I should have ordered, I'm assuming she has, the uh, the the T-shirt uh, press, the T-shirt printer thing. Uh, so, we should be doing T-shirt printing very, very shortly. Very shortly. Uh, Lindsay, are you, on, are you on there at the moment? Where's my phone? Lindsay, you're trusting her. <laughs> right, so Lindsay, are you are you on there? Well, I'll do. I'm going to give Lindsay a call and annoy her, okay? Because she's always annoying me when I'm busy. Oh, this was a, a, uh, do you have teeth painted with Daddy on them? Yeah. Uh, uh, Blackboard. Okay, this is some stuff I'm going to deal with tomorrow. But I'm going to give let's 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 give Lindsay a call actually, and uh, can we all want to know where Lindsay is, don't we? So recent. Uh, okay, let's give Lindsay a call because she she's always annoying me. Oh, hello, hello, sent you. I don't know what's happening there. I've no idea what's happening there. I've tried to find it. It's, 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 gar it's garbled. Must have got a cross line. I'll try and call it again. I don't know what that was. Are you having gold teeth? <laughs> I would actually quite like gold teeth. They look quite good. Hello. Oh, what was that garbled rubbish that happened then? Anyway, we're online. No, it was just, I think it was just garbled. I have no idea what was going I'm doing a live at the moment, yeah. And I'm just... Are, are, you, are you not watching it? No, I'm driving. I'm just listening. Oh, OK. I just want to know, have you ordered that press? Oh, she has ordered the press now, guys. So Lindsay has ordered the press. Have you ordered the paper? No, I'm trying to speak to you. Hello? Okay, well, well, okay then. Apparently, guys, right, she's ordered the, uh, uh, the press, but not the paper, because it's a special heat paper. So she needs to do a research, okay? So if it all goes wrong... It's Lindsay's fault, okay? 
Okay, so it's all Lindsay's fault. So the all the merchandise is now in the hands of Lindsay. Okay, so it's her fault if it goes wrong. Okay, isn't that right? Yeah, I'm just what. Well, Okay, so I'm just doing a live and I've got 112 people watching at the moment uh, uh, because I'm dead popular. Ob ob yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually started a live to explain why I hadn't done the, uh, uh, the letters tonight because I was tied up doing something else. And we're going to try, we're going to try and get it done tomorrow. If I get, I hopefully I will get it done tomorrow. Hopefully, uh, but there's no guarantee, but I was just explaining to everybody, I'm, I'm talking to them and you at the same time, uh, that it was actually a lot busier today than we were expecting. It really was. It really, I know they've had a fantastic time on the bingo as well. You had three good sessions, didn't you? Yeah. Very busy yeah. So, uh, anyway, I'll let Lindsay go in, in the house and then she can go to the internet, okay? And then she can... Uh, so Lindsay's going to go in the house now and go on the internet. Okay, then bye. So, guys, as I say, Lindsay has now ordered the, uh, I don't know what you call it, the, the press. And she's just working out the paper because you have to buy heat paper and you put it through an inkjet printer, which I've got here anyway. Look, I've got one there. I've got a printer there. So that'll do it. That's, that's not a problem, but it has to be the correct paper. Oh, God, I've just pressed the button, which I didn't mean to press. Okay, that's better. Okay, who else? Has stuff apart from the crap boys and crap girls. I don't know what that is. Press, Chris. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a press. You actually put the t-shirt on it. You put the print on it, and then you pull it down, and it, and it puts the press on it, and it presses the thing in. I think, Chris. When do the white pages change? When do the white? I don't know what that's all about. When do the white papers change? Uh, uh, we YouTube are going in the cabinet. Okay, uh, it'll be up to them. It'll be uh, obviously some stuff from walk on the wild side will be going in there, and I'll let the other YouTubers in Blackpool approach me once we got it up and running. Obviously, I see them all the time, so I'll talk to them about it. But obviously, initially, it's going to be me, Pete. The crap boys, and I suppose the crap girls will have to get some crap in there, won't they? Well, to be fair, Lindsay's going to have to, because she's going to be printing it all. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to do it. Uh... Oh, the gambling laws. Uh, the white paper, there's, there's still no... Uh, I know what they're talking about. They're talking about what the, the white paper for the gambling laws. Uh, there's still no definitive time about when that's going to come out. And to be fair, I think the government have got a lot more on their plate at the moment to worry about the gambling laws and the white papers there. And that's if they do approve them all, actually. That's more of a people who understand gambling laws and the white paper coming out from the government and stuff like that. Uh, so I've actually read the, the draft proposal, which is pretty harsh for arcades, but let's see what actually comes out of it. Uh, Hello, Mike, how are you? I've only just seen Mike there. So we've got 101 people watching and 65 likes. Uh, so as I say, so, so hopefully very shortly we should start to have McMurchandise send Bergen down the phone line. Uh, uh, so we should start to have merchandise very soon, very soon. Uh, any more likes, peeps? Yeah, come on, guys, hit that like button. We've got 66 likes so far, which is very good. Okay, what's this going up now? Um, football finished. Okay, I don't, don't know about football, so... Okay, I just need to read this WhatsApp message. Okay, I just need to read this WhatsApp message here. Where is Leroy still under the floorboards? Okay. Uh... Okay, but that's... 
Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, could you give a shout out to Eric and Shaw? It's a big 50 tomorrow. Okay, then. That's from Ben Dover, <laughs> Eric and Shaw. Okay. Are you going to take part in the uh, Pride Parade? No, I'm not taking part in the Pride Parade. And to be fair, the Pride Parade used to be really good. I know some friends of mine used to do floats in it uh, until the transgender lot uh, took over and spoiled it. They actually completely spoiled the Pride. The Pride weekend used to be fantastic in Blackpool. It used to be fantastic in Manchester as well. Uh, but the... Uh, the uh, the weirdos in dresses have took it all over and they've, they've, they've completely spoiled it. Before you own the boot in Vegas on Dale Street, Blackpool, Chris Higgins, right before you, who owned the one pound burger bar in Las Vegas on Dale Street? Nobody, because the one pound burger bar didn't exist. When I bought the arcade, there was no burger bar in there. I built the burger bar myself with my own hands and without a spirit level. So I actually built the burger bar. It was owned by some Asian woman before me who got in the divorce settlements. Before that, it was a guy called Clayton. And before that, it was a guy... Uh... Okay, before that, it was it was Warwick from Warwick Amusements. So originally, it was Warwick from Warwick. We've got Warwick Amusements in land now, yeah. But the burger bar didn't exist. I built the burger bar. Do you use your wet room? Yes, I do. My shower room. I use my shower room all the time. I'm not using it tonight, but in, in main season when I'm doing 12-hour shifts, after the end of the shift, I have a shower uh, because it gets, obviously, I get covered in grease and stuff like that. Uh, you need to get rid of the virgin now, Chris. You're not really anymore. You're an experienced... Oh, no, I'm the YouTube virgin. I'm still new to this. I'm still a new boy to this town. See, I'm not like these Sangronians who were brought up in this town. I don't really know the area, do I? I just make it up as I go along. But I like Chris at YouTube virgin anyway. Uh, as well as beef burgers, uh, would you consider selling veggie burgers? No. Sorry, we don't get the call for them. The only reason I can do the burgers so cheap is because I do them in sheer volume. And I might get asked twice a week for a veggie burger and I just wouldn't be able to buy them cheap because I, I just wouldn't be able to do the volume. So, yes, I need to be able to do the volume. I need to be doing hundreds of burgers a day, not one every now and then. That's absolutely no good to me. And I'm not going to sell veggie burgers just to be politically correct or stick one in a bleeding rainbow coloured bloody serviette or something like that. What a load of crap. Not going to happen. Uh, get ready. I'm desperate in to show you. you. He loves doing show the vlogs. And random and desperate. He's all right, actually. I've worked with him a couple of times. Chips. No, I don't do chips either. The reason I don't do chips, I have tried doing chips, but the problem is, is when I do chips, it, back, it backs the queue up. So when I can bang, I can bang burgers out like about one every 20 seconds, but when I do chips, it backs the queue up and then people just walk past so I end up losing money by doing chips. I'm a burger bar. That's what I do. I've got a very limited lines that I do because I have to do volume. It's purely about volume. So I'm not like a cafe or anything like that either where somebody's going to come in for 20 minutes. Literally, I'm dealing with somebody for 30 seconds and then I'm going on to the next person, the next person, the next person. And if you've seen the, the size of the queues, sometimes you have to wait 45 minutes just to get to me. <coughs> Yes, I do own the bingo next door, but Jay, I don't own the, 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 the business isn't mine. The business is James's and James's and Tony's, but I'm their landlord. It is James's and Tony's business. It's not my business. It's nothing to do with me, the actual business. I just, it's, I'm just their landlord. So 
James and Tony, it's all their prizes, it's their business, nothing to do with me. Bacon, unfortunately, Alex, bacon, the story of bacon is bacon just got too expensive. It got way too expensive bacon in. And you can't really sell a bacon bar for two quid when you're selling a burger for a quid. It just doesn't go with the whole culture of the pound burger bar. So I just got rid of it. Plus, uh, Plus, when you cook bacon on the grill, it takes a long time and it cools the grill down. So again, it gives me a, a bit of a backlog. It's all about the ergonomics. That's a good word for you, isn't it? Oh, Jackie. Hello, Jackie Turner. One of the crap girls have turned up. Infiltrating me. The crap girls are always infiltrating, aren't they? They must have found out the real daddy's online now. So, Jackie, you still not text me uh, what you need me to fetch in the warehouse tomorrow because I will forget by the morning. The daddy is with us. You need us. Who needs who where? What are you on about? I've no idea what she's on about. What gives the few pence more profit, burger or hot dogs? Hot dogs. Hot dogs is a, big, a bigger profit margin. Actually, uh, I was just explaining to him, Jackie, today. I ran out of hot dogs, so I, I had to ask Pete to go round and rob Jackie's hot dogs. So I owe Jackie three jars of hot dogs now because I ran out of hot dogs today, and which is very unusual for me. Uh, uh, so I owe Jackie three jars of hot dogs today. <laughs> It is very, very unusual for me, but I, I wasn't expecting it to be as busy as it was. As I said, I had a six and a half hour queue today and it never stopped. You said Christmas was the daddy, but Pete has upped his YouTube game. I'm the daddy. Blackpool's number one daddy. It says on my t shirt, so it must be true. Oh, as Lindsay turned up now as well. Okay, uh, my kids prefer the burgers, but I absolutely smashed the hot dog. I've still got, yeah, yeah the, the spam's going down a lot quicker than it normally does, but I've still got plenty. I am going to have to go shopping this week for pop, though, because I've really hammered the pop at the moment. I should be alright for another couple of weeks on the spam, but the pop, uh, and the, as I say, I'm going to go shopping tomorrow to the warehouse, but I do have to go to farm foods to pick up the pop as well. Chris, how much would it cost to buy one of those blue t-shirts. I don't know because somebody sent me this, but what we're doing, as I've said, we're going to do an array of different t-shirts. Lindsay's just organised getting, is, is organised getting the press and we're going to do it. So we, we need to work out the costings. Somebody actually sent me this t-shirt, uh, so I don't know how much it costs. I seem to have a lot. Most, all, most of the t-shirts you see me wearing, all the different t-shirts, are ones people have sent me. And they get covered in the... You can probably see it there. Yeah, because be, they, they get covered in grease. So I go through a lot of T-shirts. Sometimes I go through two T-shirts a day. So I take a spare T-shirt with me. Hi, Jack and Lindsay. Good evening, everybody. Hi, Jack and Lindsay. No problems in Blackpool. Can't you send out some shoplifters and come back with a hundred spam tins? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think I'll get involved in that somehow. <laughs> Good idea though. Oh god, the crap girls are on. I've just seen her. the crap girls are on now. Infiltrated us. Uh where's Pete? He's he's uh drawing out after uh the bin tag. Yeah, where is Pete anyway? Uh, hi, Chris. Can you give my friend a shout out? Are you a biggest fan? Uh, hi, Claire. 
Pete's in bed. Uh, you just rang me, you loon. Yeah, but that was just to find out whether you actually ordered it. Anyway, what you're doing on the line, you should be checking out this paper, working out what paper we want. Anyway, so I'm just just a time check. I've been on for 55 minutes now, so that means five more minutes and then I'll be gone. I only ever do an hour. Uh, would you buy a bungalow? No, 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 I don't fancy a bungalow. Uh, I've no idea if that hotel's any good. Five minutes to go. Yep, you all know me though. Chris going soon. Yep, yep. Number five minutes because, you know, I can only do an hour. Uh, and I need to go and have a shower. And it is, uh, what time is it? It is about quarter to ten now. And as I said, I do have to be up early in the morning, guys, really early to go and get stock. And not only get stock, I need to have my new teeth. So you'll be able to see me in my new teeth tomorrow, hopefully. We have many things uh, lined up. I don't know what that's all about. Ha <laughs> ha, you're not kidding. Uh, live stream in the shower. You're the perverts, all of you. Watch this space, guys. Don't know what that's all about. Good luck with the teeth. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm dreading this. I'll be honest. I'm absolutely dreading having false teeth. I've got no idea what it's going to feel like. Oh. Uh, have you told Jackie and Lindsay you're moving into Pete's? Uh, yeah, apparently uh, Jackie and Lindsay, yeah. Uh, we sold the house, as you know, yeah. But the house that we wanted to buy, uh, we can't buy now because somebody else has bought it, but we sold our house. So we're going to move a caravan into your garden, okay? And I'm gonna be, we're going to live in Pete's garden. So so can we uh, can we have an extension lead going into the house so I can have uh, the Wi-Fi in my caravan? You are bugging next to <laughs> now to upstairs. Oh, it's it's not your boy Leroy has turned up now. Yep, so Peter, I'm going to be, uh, until I find the house, because I've now sold my house, and the house I was going to buy, I can't buy because somebody, somebody else has bought it. Uh, I missed it. So uh, if I don't get a house in time, I'm buying a caravan and moving it into your back garden. But can you make sure the Wi-Fi is good so I can pick the Wi-Fi up in my caravan? And the electricity, so I can plug it into the electricity. I'll save yourself a fortune, move it into Pete's garden. Yeah, I am going to... Uh, crap, ki ki crap Kids Original, what's that? Who was the Crap Kids Original? Who the Crap Kids Original? Who's running that? I didn't know about that. Yeah, I, I am going to be disappearing in a couple of minutes' time. Uh, uh, the second word is off. Is that to do... Uh, yeah, who's the crap kids? I love it. I love the crap kids, but who are they? Is that you, Tegan? Yeah, that could be Tegan. Are her beans still cold? I don't know what that's all about. Hi, Chris. Coming down on Sunday, uh, making you some kiss. Okay, see you then. Uh... Yeah, I'll have to nick the new name and fair Wi-Fi. So I'll let you know how the house hunting's going. As I said, I've now officially accepted the offer for this house now. So I've, I've sold this house. Now I need to find a house to move into. Uh, so Jackie, is that house by you still up for sale? So uh, if, if that house, the, 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 I know there was a house a couple of doors away from Jackie's that was up for sale. Now as long as Pete puts a, uh, a, 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 a Wi-Fi booster in there, I'll never have to buy Wi-Fi again in my life. I could just have it stayed from his house. 
Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be moving into the Metropole. <laughs> Apparently, it's, it's either not for sale. It, it, there's, there's one across the road from Jackie's uh, that's up for sale. Okay, then, I'm going to check that out on the internet, yeah? And see, and see. And also, I want to see if the... Uh, if the router will go along so I can nick your Wi-Fi. Do you think I can have a cable over the road as well so I can nick your electricity at the same time? Moving to Pete's shed. I don't think Pete's got a shed, has he? <laughs> yeah, the, a flat above Abington Street barbecue. What a great idea that would be. I'll never have to cook again. House on the beach. Uh, So none of the, so it's the same thing. Crap kids is nothing to do with us. I love it though. I love it. Uh, Kai Chris coming down tomorrow from Sunny Mill. Oh, Sunny, we'll call in for a burger. Uh, are you there in the afternoon? Yes, I open at half past 11 in the morning. But to be honest, if you want to have a chat, you best get there at half past 11. Because if you get there in the afternoon, there may be a bit of a queue. So it's, it's difficult to chat. Uh, while I'm trying to serve. Okay. And what about underneath the Metropole? That's a good idea. I can live underneath the Metropole. Anyway, guys, I've just done 61 minutes now. Uh, they, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Pete's got a big enough driveway. That's a great idea, Pete. I could put a caravan in your driveway. Get your van out of the driveway and I'll put a caravan in your driveway. That's perfect, that is. <laughs> Move on the floorboards with Leroy. I like that. Anyway, guys, <coughs> I'm going to disappear now. As I said, unfortunately, I was going to be doing the letters tonight with Pete. But unfortunately, circumstances changed and I had to uh, go off and uh, pick my wife up and stuff like that. And uh, as I said, it would have been really late because there's probably an hour and a half, two hours worth of letters there. So I'm hoping... We may get time tomorrow, depending on what Pete's doing and what I'm doing. But I'm hoping we can certainly get time this week. But I will let you know. Uh, so I'll let you know what's going on about the letters. But as soon as it's out, it will be on the crap boys anyway. Yeah, but we've got so much stuff to do. Extension to Pete's house, yeah. I could always, yeah. Pete, you could build an extension on your house, and I could, uh, I could live there if you want. Yeah, I, I need a spare kennel to live there. Uh, why live with Pete? Because you, uh, well, crap girls are going live tonight, okay, then. So apparently the crap girls are going live tonight, so you can enjoy that. But I'm disappearing now because I'm actually getting tired now. And uh, I've been on for 63 minutes now, which is three minutes normally that I'll do. Uh, we have 109 people watching and 83 likes, which is very good. Thank you very much for that. Don't forget, guys, if you're not already subscribed to all the other channels, there's me, Chris Higgett, YouTube Virgin, obviously. There's Pete, it's not your boy Leroy. That's uh, Pete my partner in crime. There's the Crap Boys. Obviously, that's me and Pete in conjunction. There's all about happy days if you like watching live streams and the live stream bingo and what's going on at happy days, yeah. And if you are really, really, really bored and got nothing better to do, there's also the Crap Girls, but I wouldn't bother checking them out. And as I mentioned, yeah, if you are on Facebook, there is the official Chris Higgins Facebook page, uh, fan page, and I do have an Instagram, but those are people who have been asking me about my Instagram. Uh, Peter is definitely the beer daddy, no doubt about that, Mr. G. 
Uh, I do have an Instagram page, but that is to do with my political life rather than my YouTube life. But you can check it out if you want to, but there are a lot of political posts on there. Okay, guys, that's me signing off. I will probably speak to you tomorrow at some point, or at some point you'll see me. Or you'll certainly be speaking to Pete when he does the, uh, the live at the bingo tomorrow. So thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget, if you like the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell and all that other stuff you do. Uh, good night. Uh, good night, Claire. Again, thank you very much for my mods, keeping everybody under control. I'm glad to say that everybody is genuinely under control on this channel because the mods do such a good job that everybody's too scared to use profanity and swear words at me because you know they'll, they'll smack them. They'll smack them, they'll beat them, they'll kick them out. Okay, then, so thanks a lot for the mods for doing an excellent job like normal and keeping this nice and friendly. And I will speak to you guys later. See you later. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out all the other channels. I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching.